Hello, hello, hello. And welcome to the show. Welcome to recipe of the day. We have a quick and healthy lunch or dinner on the docket for today. Today we are gonna be making a spicy turkey lettuce wrap with some corn soup to go with, with it. So we have a yummy recipe on deck for today. So I will pull you guys up here so I can see your comments because I love it when you guys are with me live. It's fun to see you guys here on our recipe of the day. So the new Facebook setup is not quite as... I need my assistant to get my Facebook live up so I can see, see you guys. But in the meantime, we will get started here and... I'm gonna get started to cooking our soup and our turkey lettuce wraps. So I'm gonna get started here with some butter on the soup, on this corn soup that looks so good and easy and quick. And I am not using fresh corn, but it is still, of course, beautiful corn in the stores. Um, I'm using frozen, so this re recipe will work for any time of the year and it's going to be quick. So I just put three tablespoons of butter in the pan and I'm going to put about half. Um, I, got, I got that pan plenty hot. Um, half of a white uh -uh, uh -uh, onion going in there. And I still don't have my people up here. You can help me get my people so I can see my people. Yeah, not, you guys aren't there, so I can't see your comments yet, but maybe we'll get you up here in a minute. Thank you, Facebook. The other one here, I'm going to put a little peanut oil in this pan and get it warmed up. And in there, I'm going to put the red onion on this side. And I'm not sure I'm going to use all of this. This is one red onion grated, but I think that's enough. We're only using one pound of, of turkey. So I'm not going to use all of that, but we'll get that one started here. And this one, I need a pot holder. I got my pan so hot. Can you get me up here? Are we? Let's see if I can get you guys up here so I can see you, but I can't. So I'll just close it out and maybe you can open it back up for me and see if they're there. Okay. So, get my onion is going away there. So I've got white onion in one pan and red onion in the other. And then I've got my six cups of corn here. Now, I'm, like I said, I'm using frozen. And I'm using white and yellow, really just for, because it's going to be prettier to use too. And I'm going to take about four cups of this, four and a half cups of this, and put it into the blender. But I'm mixing it up first so that what's left while we have both colors left. So here we go. In we go. Oh, you know what? My uh, blender has a measurement on it too. How about that? So I can see that that's four cups in the blender. And then to that, I'm going to put one cup of water. Instagrammers, can you guys see? There we go. One cup of water. And then we're going to blend that. So let me get this going here. Hold, plug your ears. into our butter and our onion. 
Oh my gosh. It looks delicious and like soup already. Yum, huh? Yeah. Hold on, I need a spatula here. Get this pulled out of here. Okay. There we go. And we'll get all our corn mixture in there. Get this out of the way. Hold on. Okay. How is everyone today? Get that warmed up in there. Boy, that pan is hot. So it's your onion here. Our other pan of sautéing onion. I am going to put in there our one pound of ground turkey and let that get going. And so in the meantime, while that those things are going, I'm going to now move. I don't need the blender now, so let me move this out of the way so I can make room here. Okay, give me a little room here. <laughs> okay, so two for our spicy turkey lettuce wraps. I'm going to make a little sauce here. So let's get started with, wait, hold on, gotta stir my corn. Oh my gosh, does that look good? Yum! Okay, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna let that go there for a minute. Sauce for the lettuce wraps. I'm gonna get started here with the juice of three limes, and I'm just gonna do it in this measuring cup because it's, it's easy that way. And I'm going to put about two inches of fresh grated ginger that I grated while I was waiting for you guys. But it's about two inches of peeled and grated fresh ginger. It's going to be so yummy. And then to that, I've got the zest of one lime. So I'm going to put our lime zest in. And then I have, this was two really, really large jalapenos. So because I'm going to use some for the corn too. So I'm just going to use some of it in there and mix it in with our garlic and our lime, jalapeno and lime zest. And then to that I'm going to put a couple of tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. So we're going to measure that carefully. <laughs> but I'm going to put some in here and this is going to be our sauce. Doesn't it look yummy? It smells so good. The teriyaki and the fresh ginger, jalapeno, yummy! I'm also going to put a splash of ponzu, just because I like it. This happens to be lemon ponzu, but I thought, what the heck? Let's throw a little bit of that in there, and that is going to be yummy for our sauce. So two our, let's check on our turkey back here. So our turkey's getting going there. Oh, I've got that one. Go oh, on, that one's uh, uh, plenty hot there, our corn. That one is super hot. Let's we'll turn it down a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to put on to boil here real quick our noodles, because I have some rice noodles and my water is boiling. So these are the thin vermicelli rice noodles, the real thin ones. And the recipe calls for four ounces. That's only half of this bag. So let's see how gracefully I can do this. And get half of these noodles into our pot here. Wah! So let's see. I'm just going to break those apart and throw them in. And they only take like two minutes. So I'm not going to get those back in there right this second. But let's stir up our, break up our noodles. And this I have back here is boiling salted water. And give me a two minute uh, timer there. Hey Erica, how are you? I have your prizes from the show. Erica, I need to see you so I can give you your prizes. My big winner. Okay. So, getting our turkey browned up in there real quick. Um, and I will get going on the rest of our soup here. So we are cooking that uh, pureed corn. I'm going to put one cup of the remaining corn into our soup here. So utensil. So I'll put a cup of that in there and let that keep cooking. 
oh my gosh, talk about an easy soup. Just pureed the corn and cook it up and it already looks delicious. Um, and let that bring to a boil. And then, um, hold on a second, uh, lost my train of thought there. Okay. So now, to our turkey that is cooking away back here, I am going to start to add our vegetables. Oh, has it been two minutes? On our noodles, I'll let it pass. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. What? Rice noodles! <laughs> uh, nope, they're not quite done yet. So we'll let those go for another minute. Um, but I'm going to throw our vegetables into our turkey here. Because our turkey's getting, this is just our turkey and onion getting browned up. So I'm going to add to that. This is a half of a yellow pepper and half of a red pepper. And they are julienne, just real thin. And then I've got a zucchini just to add a little more vegetable to this. Noodles should be done. Noodles should be done. Okay, let's get the noodles out then. Okay, hold that thought. I've got a little dish here. Oh my gosh, it all looks so yummy today. Okay, make sure these are done. Ooh, they're done. They're done. Noodles done. Ding, ding, ding. Okay, hold on, I'm going to pull this out. Try and do this gracefully, let's see. Let those drain there for a second, then I'm going to pull them out and put a little oil with those. So, oh my gosh, this is going to be so yummy. Okay. It would be so pretty to have our red pepper, yellow pepper, and a little zucchini just for color. Yes. And get that going in there. So to our soup here, make sure I have everything in my soup. Uh, I, and we need to add some chicken stock to our soup. So I'm going to add, I think the recipe calls for two cups, but I'm like, what are you going to do with an extra half a can of chicken stock? So I'm putting one can of chicken stock in, which is really only about a cup and a half of chicken stock. It's not really two whole cups, but um, I didn't want to use half a can. So COVID cooking, we use what we've got, right? Okay. Oh my gosh. I can't believe how easy was that soup. Like you puree some fro fro uh, fro uh, frozen corn, put it in the pan, boom, it's practically soup already. <laughs> It's going to be delish. Okay, our noodles. The noodles I'm going to put in this. Hold on, let me grab my. It's hot. It's not going to work. I'll do it over on this side. I'm going to take the noodles here. I'm going to put them in this dish because I'm going to put a little bit of oil on the noodles so they don't stick. I might even put a little bit of ponzu on the noodles just to give them a little flavor because I like ponzu. Okay, turn that off. So I'm going to put a little bit of peanut oil, just a touch, and then I'm going to put a little bit of ponzu just because I like it, but that's probably not what this recipe says. So just so you know, when you read the recipe, you're like, hmm, it's not what it said, but what I'm going to do. Because <laughs> ultimately we're going to um, wrap these with our, in our, into, our le into our lettuce wraps, our yummy turkey and vegetable we're making here. And I have some cashews chopped to as a gar as a, as a as a garnish. Okay, so our noodles are tossed here with a little bit of peanut oil and a little bit of ponzu. So see when I go to assemble our beautiful lettuce wrap, how that works out. Oh yeah! Oh, Erica, thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you. Awesome. I've made so many cool things, right? Haven't we? So many awesome things. 
um, on the show. I'm going to move my parsley there so I can see you guys. Um, because this is going to be so yummy and easy and quick, I thought. Just to fry up the turkey and make the yummy sauce and boom, we're good to go. Did you know today is National Wiener Schnitzel Day? Do you know what a Wiener Schnitzel actually is? Here's my test question for t today. And I thought, hmm, we could make Wiener Schnitzel today, but I don't really want to. <laughs> and pound the veal out. Oh, wait. And to see if you guys know what it is. Oh, which cookies do you like, Erica? We've made se uh, several kinds on here. Oh my gosh, I smell this. We're cooking with gas now. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. We've got that one coming up to a boil. See what else goes in our soup, since that was so easy. Our soup brings water. Yes, I'm going to put more of this corn in. This says to top our bowls with some corn, but I don't need that much for garnish, so I'm going to throw a little bit more in here. Oh, oh my gosh, that looks so good. Okay, I think I'm going to put a little salt and pepper in that. So hold that thought. Salt and pepper here. Okay. Before I give that a taste and see how it's going. Oh, the hotel, oh, the, the double tree ones. Weren't those good? Oh my gosh. The other ones that are one of my favorites were those sugar cookies with the potato chips and the pretzels. That's a good one. And then the new one, the ones I just made most recently with the um, Malden salt on top, the chocolate chip with the ground oatmeal and the Malden salt on top. Oh my goodness, those are good too. Erica says Joe worked there in high school. At the Double Tree, he did? Der Wiener Schnitzel. Oh, Der Wiener Schnitzel. Well, it's not Der Wiener Schnitzel, it's Wiener Schnitzel. I think it's like the national dish of Austria. <laughs> oh my gosh. Right, let me taste that soup and see, make sure I have enough salt going there. Oh my gosh, that is good. Very good and simple. And of course I have a little cream. I'm going to put a little half and half in that soup once I get it up to a boil. And I'm going to put our yummy sauce. Into our meat and veg there. So our sauce that we made, the ginger and the lime juice and the jalapeno going in. With a little bit of ponzu and a little bit of teriyaki. And that is going, oh my gosh, does that smell good? When the ginger hit the heat. Uh, yeah, yummy. Oh my God, that smells delicious, wow. Oh yeah, you can smell that, um, pon the, the ponzu too when it hit the heat. Make sure I got everything in, in that one too. And then um, I will plate this up. See how long was that? Like 10 minutes and uh, 15? And we got two things almost done here. Okay. This wants me to add a little bit more teriyaki to the meat, but I'm going to taste it first. So hold that thought and see how it tastes before I add more. Oh my goodness. This smells so good. It's something different and easy. So hold that up. Oh, that is delicious. Yum. Oh, yeah. Mm. Very good. You taste all the flavors, that fresh uh, 
Ginger adds so much. It's so good. Of course, I can never have too much black pepper, so I'm going to put some pepper in here. And then um, we're going to try and gracefully plate one of these. I even got a plate up for the occasion. Okay, let's see how gracefully I can make this look. <laughs> so I'm going to take my pretty lettuce. Now I have romaine here. My, if you guys can see here, my Instagrammers, hi Instagrammers, and I'm going to take a little bit of our noodles that are kind of stuck together here and put some in our lettuce. Now you can use, I would have gotten butter lettuce if they had it, but they didn't, and the recipe actually called for this for romaine, but butter lettuce or iceberg would have been, you know, like um, P.F. Chang's the lettuce wraps, they use the big pieces of lettuce, but I didn't want to make this that easy, so I'm doing what the recipe said and got romaine. <laughs> so into that here, you get another spoon so I can get some of our yucky meat mix here. And I will put some of our turkey in here. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. See if I can get all of our all of our colors in here. Oh my gosh. Look at that. In our colors here, we've got our, you guys see, it has our turkey, red pepper, yellow pepper, zucchini, and the turkey in there. Yum! So to that, I have a little bit of chopped cashews for a garnish, a little bit of cashew, and a little bit of fresh jalapeno. And uh, I, of course, love this hot sauce. It's my very favorite and my director does too so we'll put a little bit on here for my taste tester here can taste this doesn't it look good and easy and a little lower cow now that we're like six months into co to COVID and everyone carrying a couple more pounds than we would like to right gang oh my goodness okay so let me see how our how our corn soup, I just want to make sure that that frozen corn is cooked. And then we will see. Hey Megan, how are you girl? I know, Erica, I think we have. Oh, we got two thumbs up from the director on our spicy turkey lettuce wraps. And oh my gosh, this soup, yummy. So I'm gonna put to finish it, I'm going to put a half a cup of half and half. Recipe calls for cream, but I just can't go there. So I'm going to put a half a cup of half and half in there, and then I'm going to serve this up and garnish it so you guys can see what I've got going on here. So let me get a ladle out here for our soup. Let's turn that one off. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. The, tur the, the turkey wrap. Okay. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to put a little bit of our soup in the bowl here. And to garnish the soup, I'm going to put a little bit of our corn, whole kernels on top. And then I'm going to put a little bit of fresh jalapeno on top because that's what I like. And I'm actually going to put a little bit of fresh pepper on this for garnish. And voila. I don't know if you guys see. We have our corn, easy corn soup, simple. And for a quick evening meal when you get home from work and you want something quick, boom. You have frozen corn in the freezer. You can make this yummy soup really, really quick because you probably have everything I put in here. It's only a little bit of onion, a little bit of corn, a little bit of jalapeno, and boom, you're good to go. Oh my goodness, and delicious. Simple and delicious. So that's our meal for today. Our spicy turkey lettuce wrap and then our corn soup. So for a quick and easy lunch or dinner, um, it just thought it looked like some yummy options and some pretty low cal. You could have left the half and half out of the soup too and it would have been um, even less caloric. So as we head into the holiday season here, I don't know how many days it is till, till Christmas, 
but I know we're heading into um, Halloween already, so I can't believe it. The holidays are upon us, um, but it is. So hope you guys are all, we have a whole bunch of birthday shout outs. Let me grab my birthday shout out hat. Can I have my shout out hat? Because we have, I think, eight birthday shout outs today that were the last couple days and the couple days co uh, coming up because we have a fun show on the docket for Saturday. We are here Wednesdays and Saturdays, 3 o'clock live. You can find us on Ventura Real Estate on YouTube. Please subscribe. We're almost to 1,000. Um, and I will put the recipes here on Facebook um, and on our YouTube ch uh, channel. But our birthday shout outs for today is Sibony Hallenbrand. Happy birthday to you, girl. She turned 18. We're so excited for her launching her college career. Jeff Zimmerman had a a milestone birthday to Jane Ann Morgan. Looks like you guys had a great weekend. I can't wait to hear about it. Laura Nielsen, happy birthday to you. And then tomorrow, Heidi will come. It's your birthday tomorrow. Hope you're having something fun planned for tomorrow. Shannon Pemberton, it's your birthday too. Happy birthday. And then Tim Gillette, it's your birthday. And Paul Grenier, we have a lot of, bir of birthdays. It was a busy week on Labor Day week um, for birthdays. And tomorrow, just if you're wondering what you're going to feed your kids for dinner tomorrow night, it is National TV Dinner Day tomorrow night. So take the pressure off and take the mom, what's for dinner? And get everyone a TV dinner for tomorrow night. And you can blame it on National TV Dinner Day. I know when we were kids, we only got TV dinners um, when we had a babysitter, which was not very often. But when we did, that was we got fish sticks. It was a big deal. <laughs> because we didn't get them. So anyway, thank you for watching. We love having you here um, with us. Remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best. And thank you for being here and watching. If you have any real estate needs, give, visit us at GaryAndLisa.com, your real estate edge. And we look forward to seeing you on Saturday at 3 o'clock with a special guest. And we will be making some fun things on Saturday. And we will see you then. So have a great rest of your day, and we look forward to seeing you too soon. Thank you for watching.